Hello and welcome to GQ. I, I, I don't know what I'm calling this. I really don't. This is the first time I've tried uh, to do any kind of unboxing or boxing, as you gathered from the title and thumbnail. And uh, yeah, this is me. And this is the Nintendo Switch all-in-one box. That's, that's its actual name. It's the all-in-one box. Uh, and this is the Splatoon 2 version. Now, I was going to do an unboxing of this uh, because I'd never done one before and I thought it'd be um, a really nice thing to do. Uh, so I said on Twitter, I was like, so I think I might do an unboxing. Uh, and then uh, someone who follows me on Twitter is called Japan Retro Games, uh, who have a look at his uh, eBay shop. I'll leave a link in the description. He's got lots of really cool games. Um, he actually said, why don't you do a boxing instead? <sighs> My mind was blown. Like, I don't see many people doing boxing videos, and I've not seen anyone do a, a boxing or an unboxing of this, so, you know, two birds, one stone, two squids, one, um, salmon. Um, so, this is going to be a bit of a two-parter. The first part is, uh, the first part for you, is me putting this back in the box. It's a boxing video. Uh, and while I'm boxing it, I'll talk a bit about, um, what comes out of this box, because we've, uh, already got this box here it's nice and full um, part two for you is part one for me which was the unboxing so I, I just did the unboxing I recorded that uh, hopefully that's uh, recorded all right um, and now I'm unboxing it and putting it back in if this doesn't make sense don't worry about it if you want to see an unboxing of this um, skip to whatever duration I mention in the description below. I don't know what it'll be right now. And then you can see the actual unboxing. If you just want to see the boxing of this, then you are at the right point. If you want to see both, then stick around for the, the whole lot. So here we go, let's begin. Now, I'm going to pull this a little bit closer. I don't want to pull it by the tags because these are very, very fragile. Um, well, they feel fragile. What we've got here is uh, two little rubber straps, kind of what you get on like your, um, your phone or little accessories for your bag or whatever. But they hold on to the zip here with this little loop of metal. Now, this really feels like if I pull that a little bit too hard, that's going to come away uh, and break off. I hope it doesn't because I really like these. They're so cute and adorable uh, and I want them to last uh, a long time. And then if we look over here, we got this lovely top uh, of the case and that. This is what sold it for me. Like, I saw it on the box, which you'll see soon. Uh, and it was this, uh, the zips as well. Uh, you can't, you can't, can't see it yet, see it? Right, let's just give you a little bit there. So the top zip is actually the, gre uh, the green and the bottom zip is pink. Um, and these little uh, accessories, it, it just seemed really nice um, and I did want somewhere to put my switch um, when I am going out and about like if I'm uh, going to a friend's house for a party and they ask me to bring it because I don't really want to just like take my dock and stuff in like my backpack separately I've got a separate case so I've got this case uh, which I do use for the uh, switch itself when I'm out and about so it's got the games in there you put your joy cons up there you got your main screen down here it's solid, it, well it's not solid, it's semi hard, uh, but it does me just well. So, let's open this up and see what we just did. Da 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 da! So right at the top here you've got a little zip area. Uh, uh, hang on, me. Okay, there we go. No, oh, that's terrible. Damn, I need to get a better tripod. Um, <laughs> There. Come really close. So you've got this zip area up here in case you want to store uh, any extras that might come with. Maybe you want a little towel or something in there. Um, but that's kind of nice. And the top itself is quite sturdy. Like if, if there's anything going on it flat, it's fine. It's, it is foldable, so I wouldn't recommend putting anything uh, too valuable up there. Um, we actually, when I did the unboxing, we had a little bit of extra room here. Uh, so I put on uh, two uh, random game cases that were right next to me. Uh, and we've got here, as you can probably tell from the backs actually. There you go. We have uh, one, two switch, 
and uh, Legend of Zelda. They, do, they don't come with it. This is called the all-in-one box, but you get nothing with it. Um, and I know a couple of people, uh, when I did mention the all-in-one box, they thought, ooh, uh, especially with it being the Splatoon one, they thought, ooh, maybe you get the controls with it, the Joy-Cons with it. And I was like, mm, no. Um, so what have we got here? What's this? What's this? Well, first of all, I'm going to show you these zips a lot better because they are really nice it's like a nice combination of the uh shopping shopping shocking pink and the uh quite fluorescent green now this you'll learn in the unboxing video what this is i'm not going to mention it just know that i fucked up that's what this is that's gq's fuck up so we have this right here and uh, as we open the bag and see right inside it more you can see that there is a lot of room uh, or what seems to be a lot of room. So just down here, we've got. Let me pull around off the tripod for this. Where's, where's my torch? Okay, there's my torch. All right. So you can see down there, we've got room for the um, Joy-Con holder. Uh, there's probably room for a Pro controller, but I don't have one. I've just got the Joy-Con holder. Uh, you've got your power cable, your HDMI cable, your dock right over there. Room for two games at the back there. We've actually got the to uh, Joy-Con tops. I cannot remember the name of what they are, but it's the bit that slides on top of the Joy-Con. Right, let's put the back on the tripod. There we go. So we've got this, so where's the, uh, where's the console itself? That is right in the middle. Now, I don't like this. I don't really like it because you can see this bend right there. That's mainly caused by, um, this really has to be quite close uh, for this wall to fit properly. And because of that, on your Joy-Cons, which are, according to the box, um, supposed to stay there and there, um, the Joy-Cons are pushing against it, the analog sticks. I, I don't like that. I don't like that. We don't like that. Um, so I'm probably going to be doing something a bit different uh, as far as this layout goes. Uh, I'm probably going to actually be using um, this case somehow. I'll probably put the actual console in here, slot that in there, knock out that wall, put in a bay window, and you'll be lovely. <laughs> I'd love to see someone try and put in a bay window in a, a case like this. So let's uh, unbox the all-in-one box. So let's start with let's start with the front. Because uh, we've already seen this, it's just the uh, Nintendo Switch uh, Joy-Con holder. Uh, and again, you don't get anything with this. This is just stuff that I put in while I was testing it. Uh, so let's put you away. Next, we've got uh, the cables. Yeah, damn it, you fell apart. You forgot to get it. So you've got your HDMI and your uh, power cable as well. That's, that's all you really need um, for good, fun times. Uh, I was also going to put in... Uh, my uh, HDMI RCA converter. This is what I actually have to use when I'm trying to stream uh, the Switch because my um, capture setup cannot take a uh, HDMI signal even though I run the signal through the TV and I capture from the TV straight into my computer. If that's an HDMI signal it won't work. I have to use this. I have to use this to convert the switch to uh, RCA uh, and then that goes to the TV then it goes from the TV back to the computer long faff so I was going to include that but I didn't in the end okay so that is everything in this front section and what that means now is we can actually pull this wall out these walls are, gem are just held on with the velcro so Come on, come on, you bastard. Come on, you. Yeah. Come on, let go. Drop it, drop it, drop it. There we go. So this is one of the walls, one of the walls. And um, we're gonna put you, oh, there you are, with my failure. It's gonna stick you there so I don't lose you. So next we're gonna take out the uh, console itself because that is the next part that is here. And uh, like I said, I am kind of worried about those Joy-Con analog sticks and good, you're safe. Um, 
So I don't like them having like weight pushed on them. It's kind of worrying. Um, so yeah, switch. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, so with that being uh, this section here, this middle section, we can now take away this wall. Uh, that one comes away pretty easily because it didn't quite reach the walls itself. I'm going to leave this one here. I'm not going to put it with this one just yet because um, I need that. So next we've got the dock. So the dock, again, it's just your standard uh, Nintendo Switch dock. Nothing uh, fancy, nothing to uh, shout home about unless home doesn't have one, in which case you want to brag, in which case by all means call home and tell them about it. In fact, I've, I've actually done that twice because uh, my nephews do not have a Nintendo Switch and uh, I enjoy annoying my sister uh, by winding them up. So there's the dock. I'm going to put the dock back where it was. And next we've got... That's it. We've, oh, earthquake. Not an earthquake, just me being a klutz. We've got the little top bits for the Joy-Cons, which, God, what are they called? Joy-Con slider grip holders? I don't know. I never use them. I never do. Like, um, the Joy-Con itself is fair enough for me. I guess I should use them so I don't drop them, but yeah. Uh, let's put them back over here. And of course, that means that this little bit also comes out. There we go. And that is why I didn't put the other one with you just yet. Slap you on there. There. Uh, and now I can put you with your friend. Friend. Okay, so the last thing that we've got in here are these two games. So we've got uh, Splatoon 2, uh, which kind of suits the case. Uh, and we've also got Splatoon 2. Now, don't be alarmed, this is not a weird, crazy pirate version. This is actually a limited edition case, um, which you may have seen me try and draw on uh, my drawing videos. Um, I try and draw stuff in 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna put the real case down for just a sec. So this um, case is an actual case, uh, except it's also got room for uh, 3DS games as well as um, uh, Switch games. And it came free with, I think it was the September issue. Hang on, I've got it there. It came free with oh, Kota Kota Comics. Uh, where's the month? Ah, August. It came free with the August edition, this. And uh, this has actually got a pretty cool Splatoon comic in it. Uh, and this was really fun and enjoyable as well. So I did say at the time that I probably would uh, keep buying this just so I could keep reading this comic. Um, because again, the conclusion for this was pretty pretty nice, pretty epic as well. But I ended up forgetting. Sorry, Kata Kata Comics. Sorry. But you do have a really nice Nintendo Switch um, Splatoon 2 case. So, so that is everything that uh, I, I put in. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Oh, look quick. Got to take out the last wall. All right, so let's put the wall there. So that is everything from the box. That is the all-in-one box. Now this is a boxing video. Oh, wait, there's nothing nothing in there, right? Nope, nothing in there. So this is a boxing video, which means that all of this has to go back into that. Now I'm just gonna make uh, room, I'm gonna put these games out of my way. There we go. Now, I do not remember how this, oh, there you go, that, so that's, yeah, there. So that folds flat like that, uh, which is lovely. And that, ah, yeah. So that stays open. So that's basically how it came, uh, which is how it can fit into this nice narrow box. Um, but we've also got to put it back in this bag since we are doing it properly. Back in the bag, you bastard. So we're going to grab them walls now and we're going to put them on top. I think that's how it went. Um, and then all this is back 
in the box. Close, close, close. So, that is the end of this boxing. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I forgot the bag. <laughs> now we're done. So that is the end of the boxing part of this boxing video. Uh, okay, sorry about that cut there. My phone completely ran out of memory and it just stopped. So really sorry. Uh, I've managed to fill a little bit of room. So I'm gonna have to carry on and make this really quick. So that is the end of this boxing video. If you would like to see the original unboxing, then stick around because that's what uh, we're gonna do now. Uh, I've already done it, but now you're gonna see it. It's a reverse. Anyway, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get it if you stay. If not, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Sayonara. Okay, so we're now gonna start part two of your guys' video. This is the first part for me which is the actual unboxing. So here we have um, this lovely little thing that I bought from Geo. Geo is a very uh, big shop, a uh, big chain rather in Japan. I uh, do lots of games, video rentals and stuff like that. So to open here, damn it, it's stuck on there. We have the Splatoon 2 uh, all-in-one box, it's called. Uh, so this is for the Nintendo Switch. It holds everything all together. It's, it's basically a storage box or a carry case um, and it can be very useful. I wanted one because I, the moment like I keep my Switch sort of on the floor, uh, it's like permanently charged and plugged in. But if I do want to take it out somewhere like uh, where I need the dock, like I, if I want to go to a friend's and play there, then I kind of want to have something a bit more sturdy and protective rather than just lumber it in my backpack. So this is the unboxing. You can see there, that's how much I paid. That's uh, without tax. So, uh, 3,880, I think it was 4,090 yen with tax. Uh, I don't fully remember. Uh, this box itself is nice and sturdy and has lots of very cool little uh, Splatoon-esque uh, imagery all along the sides. It's lovely. Uh, nothing on the bottom, as you can see. On the top, Nintendo. So on the back, it will show you exactly what uh, what you've got. If that will zoom or focus rather. Okay, so there's uh, room in here for your dock, uh, your console, there's a couple of games. Um, your, ah, uh... oh, fuck, what are they called? The bits that go on the Joy-Con that I actually uh, never use. Um, and also uh, uh, the dock, I, I said the dock, cables and peripherals as well. Um, there's a little gap at the top, at the top if you want to actually store stuff, and then you've got these, um, which are extra parts maybe, or maybe these. That's these. Um, yeah, that looks about right. So these will be those. Um, judging from the, judging from the, <laughs> if you look at the zips, why aren't you focused? That's better. Um, so this Splatoon theme, so it is a Splatoon-based uh, zipper. And if you actually look as well, so the top zip is uh, the green that is very uh, synonymous with synonymous. That is like Splatoon. It's Splatoon green. And the bottom one is uh, purple. And the zips as well, you've got one of each colour, which you can see here. So, we could talk all about this, but it actually just says there like what you get in, this, in uh, the thing as well. Uh, and that is um, just stuff to be aware of. But we don't need to be aware of it, so... Let's open. Let me zoom and focus first. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna push it in. I've never been very good at opening boxes without end up tearing everything apart. So you guys will have just seen me put this back in, but you'll notice that it's not the way it went in. Probably, I don't know. I've not done it yet. So here's the case. Anything in? Oh, I have a bit of paper. All right, so let's see if I can just move it down a bit. Ignore that can. <laughs> all right, so here is the all-in-one case. Let's take it out of the uh, plastic yard. Nothing in there. Um, ah, you can't smell that, but it smells nice. It's some sort of 
you know, like some new stuff, it just has a really nice smell, like books or bags and shoes. Nice. I'm getting a bit of a shadow here, it's from the actual camera itself, so really sorry about that. But it's, you know, as. Yeah, let's put it right back. So, let's see if we can open this up. Let's see roughly how much room is in there. It's quite, it's quite roomy, actually. Um, right, so that's the uh, first extra bit that it told us about. Let's see, let's, let's uh, back up there a bit. There we go. Um, oh, crap, shit falling all over the place. And here is this other part. Is that Velcro? Is that, or is, am I going to tear that? I think that's Velcro. Yeah, it's Velcro. Whew. So we've got uh, a section here and another section here. So you've got uh, two smaller sections uh, which hold together with Velcro. And are these the same? No. No, this one's bigger. So you get this one. I think that'll be your main uh, one. You got two more here. So you actually get a lot of um, ways that you could uh, divide your case up. Uh, so let's dive right in. And you can see, it's, like I said, there's a fair bit of room in that. That's quite nice. Um, the back actually seems a little bit heavier than the top, and there we have that case. Go That's beautiful. I really like that. Right, so, oh, and these are cute. Right, let's, let's, let's bring them around to the front. Hello, green. They're cute, but they don't feel very secure. They actually, because it, it's basically, um, it's like a rubber strap. Like uh, you got for like a mobile phone or something like that. They're basically rubber with uh, metal uh, holding them in. So I think a couple of strong pulls on there um, will mean that they will fall off uh, copyright Nintendo. So I'm going to have to be really careful about those. Right, now let's open this up. Um, this is going to sound weird, but I didn't get an instruction manual with this, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Um, Space at the front as well, lovely, and uh, here's that zip that we mentioned earlier. So let's get the box back and let's try and recreate uh, this. So to recreate this, it looks like we need the two long ones, probably those. Um, and the two small ones, which will go there, one holding it there. So I don't know what, I don't know what you're for. Hmm. All right, so uh, I'm going to pop you there. So I'm also going to try and slot stuff in while we go. I think that might be the best way. Uh, so we need the dock. All right, hang on. The you know, I really should have unplugged everything before um, trying this. All right, hang on, let's grab the switch. So I got the switch. Uh, I'm gonna put you. Th no, I'm not gonna put you there. You probably fall off that bloody table. Um, right, so unplug. There we go. All right, and let's throw you in there for now. Just keep it all together. Uh, here's the dock itself. Unplug. That's the HDMI, and that's the AC, right? So we've got the dock, and according to you, you go in, I'm gonna try and stay exactly as you are, you go in that way, like so. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna take this cable just out for a minute and grab the HDMI cable as well. Keep all this together. Unplug you from my uh, composite converter. Right, so I've got you in there. Now, what do I need there? I need, I need two games. So what do we, what do we got? I'll just grab whatever's closest. Um, oh, I'll grab, <laughs> I grabbed three. Uh, so we've got uh, the three that I've grabbed. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Splatoon 2. And uh, Splatoon 2, the alternative case. You've got, you may have seen me draw this. Well, I tried to draw it in, in 10 minutes and failed. So I'll just grab the two Splatoons. Um, sorry, Zelda. And you're going to go there. Alright, so next uh, we need 
to assemble. And I need a little one here. This is kind of the, the one thing that is a little bit of annoying for me. Like I, I, I'd have preferred it to sort of come like that. Um, but, uh, oh well. Um, let's take those games out for just a minute. So how do I... Right, so you're going to go in this way and you're going to stick against the back. Okay. And let's pop you on there. Let's try and get you straight. There we go. So we got that there. Now we need them. Um, I don't know what the actual word is for these. It's like a Joy-Con backy or toppy part. Let me know in the comments because otherwise I'm going to be like, oh, I'm, well, I'm going to be doing it anyway. I'm going to be making up words for it. It's it's these. Now, truth be told, I never use these. Um, like when I'm playing with just the Joy-Con, I, I generally find that the button on the top is sort of sufficient um, so I'll put, you know I'll, I'll probably just put these in here and and leave them uh, since I'm not actually using them uh, the cable on the picture goes at the bottom but uh, you know what we've, we've started we may as well carry on like the picture let's slot you in there and oh crap you're stuck to the velcro I knew that had happened because these actually get stuck in the velcro of the case that I currently use. Uh, and you're coming away. That's irritating. Rather bothersome. Okay, so we've got the Joy-Con tops in there. And we've got the games in there. It's actually on the bottom. Yeah. Hmm. Just seeing a little bit uh, narrow. All right, and we've got that. So next we need uh, the long one. Shit. <laughs> uh, so we have to sort of partition. Uh, oh, get off uh, the sides or on the sides. We need it right up against. Damn it, game! Stop falling over. Oh, uh, we need it up against the dock and the, against the game. So how do I do this? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, God damn it! Right. So pop you. There, right, so I've got you in, and we're gonna try and do this side against there. Mm, actually, I'm gonna spin you around because I've got a feeling that tonight. Wait, are you have you got a top? So I've just noticed this lining here is not here. Does that mean you're the top? I don't know. The other one of similar size also has it. I'm confused. Right, anyway, what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't want the Velcro to go sort of anywhere near the screen. So I'm gonna put it this way and hope that like it just sort of, as it's, oh, damn it games. When it sort of folds around and over onto itself, um, it stays away from the screen. All right, so you're in and you are in. It's, it's, it's very, I don't think that's, is that not, that's not long enough. Like it doesn't, it doesn't match this, uh, this width. Are you meant to, Are you meant to. Hmm. Hmm. Although looking at it very closely, it does have the Velcro going the other way. Um, let's focus. There we go. So it does have the Velcro going down on both sides. Um, so I will follow that. I'm following you, Nintendo. I'm trusting you. Yeah. Come here, you bastard. All right. So let's go in this side. But I'm also going to... Wait. Do you show any hints? No. No. All right. So you're going in here the way Nintendo wants you to go. And I have no idea how deep that's going either. Uh, it could be going really far down. It could be going bugger all. And stick. 
and stuck. Okay. So. So far. We're about half. Oh God, we're about halfway. Uh, so next is the actual console. And looking at the picture. So the console's got the Joy-Cons on it, which is uh, fair enough by me. I don't really like taking them off because sounds weird so the console goes in and I'm holding that because I don't want you to fall uh, damn it. okay I've got to let go of the console please don't fall please don't fall um, so next is this part which goes right across the face of the console um, and this is a bit worrying because of this velcro now although actually the velcro will actually hit the jewel oh, shit <laughs> hit the Joy-Con uh, before it hits the screen, except for while I'm in... You know what? Out, out you come. Out you come. Out you come. Okay, so let's focus. There we go. And I'm going to leave maybe... Leave like a, th a thumb. Thumbs distance. There we go. I know a lot of American people do not uh, understand British measurements. But yeah, we've left that at roughly one thumb. Uh, let's see if that'll go in. No, not comfortably. The um, analog sticks, that's it. Uh, it needs more room. But looking at this... Alright, hang on, let me focus. Where do those analog sticks go? Are they like squidged right in there? Ah, I'm I'm I don't I don't want to squidge them. Let's give it. I give you another thumb's worth, and I'm gonna hope to God that that's enough room. Okay, you're in, and you're in. So. In goes the switch, and I'm very nervous about that. Like it's it's in. It has enough room. Um, there we go. It's in. It's kind of. Wish I could get some more light in here. Um, so it's like way down in the bottom of that, and the the Joy-Con analog stick as well. It's pretty bloody close. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, in fact, what I might end up doing is actually just putting the console in this box and then putting this box in there. Um, that seems like my safest option. But for now, let's uh, muster on. Uh, muster on? What's muster? Does that go on there? Is that what you are? Are you a cover? Did you come in? Oh, you're the... You're the base, aren't you? You're the floor. <laughs> the floor in my plan. Uh, okay, so at least we now know what that is. Um, so let's... God damn it, yeah, yeah. So let's use uh, the other one of these. And we are going to recreate this little wall. Uh, so which way are you going? You're going that way. So you're going to go roughly halfway, although you need to fit a, um, where are you? There you are. You need to fit one of these in, unless that's a pro controller. I think that's a pro controller, but I don't have one. I have this. So I'm going to put you in now. Uh, I'm going to pull this Velcro off again, uh, and I'm going to slot you in that way. So I'm just doing the left hand side first. Okay, there we go. So I'm just doing this left hand uh, bit there. I'm gonna stick that all the way down. So that way I've got like the halfway point. Uh, and now because this Velcro has stuck on here, I'm just gonna peel that away and reattach it to this side. And it does not like that. <laughs> the um, 
This is is too. Uh, there we go. So this is is kind of too uh, big for this uh, little area here, and here's sort of you can see there the the uh, dent in this little wall here, and that's going on the screen. So I'm gonna be changing that, uh, but for now we've gotta we've gotta carry on. We've gotta finish the job. Um, so next is the um, let's uh, pull you back up. There we go. Is the cables. So we've got the HDMI uh, just there and the power there. So let's roll up, roll up the HDMI. It's uh, nice and long, this one. And, 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 and. and in you go. God damn it. <laughs> Again, there's not enough room. Um, and then the power cable, uh, which, so judging from you, you are all rolled up until the big bummy knocker. Um, which I will now attempt to roll up. This is not a good rolling job. Okay, so we've got you like that, with that on the top, and I'm gonna pop you in. And okay, I know I know that in the thing it's sticking out that way, but I'm gonna put it in that way. Um, so that is everything in according to this, and we're gonna put this on the top, even though you're actually the floor now that we know. Um, so there's still a fair bit of room. Like there's a lot of space uh, just there. If I squeeze them down a bit, there's a bit of room. I'm very nervous about that though. That's my main sort of one uh, concern. Um, have I got a torch? Oh, I've got a torch. I just remembered, I've got this bloody torch right next to my bed uh, for, you know, earthquakes. Um, so, there we go. That's, that's crap, really, in it, but it uh, helps a little bit. Um, so you can fully see, or not fully, just about if I take this out. Um, but we've got the switch just there, and that. I don't know, I don't like that. Like, mm, Oh, mm, unnecessary pressure. Mm. So I think when it comes to actually using this, I'm going to be making a couple of adjustments. Um, I'll probably be using uh, my own little case. Uh, or my other little case. This is my own little case. Um, but I do really like it. I like the look of it. I like the feel. I like the smell. It's lovely. Uh, and there's, there's room, actually. That's, that's Let's throw this one two switch. Uh, seldom played, owned for a while. So let's seal you in. Okay. And this side. I'm really trying not to break break these because these feel like that they could just snap off. Um, they look good though. All right, so that is the end. Maybe the view of that. Uh, that is the end of part two for you, uh, and this is part one for me. So part two for you is the uh, unboxing. I'm trying to think now, uh, and part one will be the boxing. So I'm now going to put this back in the box. Hello, I've come back. Um, so now I'm just going to say my little farewell. If you have stuck around until the very, very end of this video and you did see the complete unboxing and the boxing too, um, then you are pretty awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate your view. I really appreciate watching. No, I can't talk. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Sayonara. It's time to actually unbox this and uh, put it into use. Bye. Sayonara. <laughs>